Captain's log date September 29th, 1942. I have received top secret orders to infiltrate the Japanese staging port of Rabul. These orders are to be executed immediately. I, as well as the crew, are extremely nervous about this attack. We have no idea what is in there, how many escorts are guarding it, if there are submarine nets and mines. This attack could very well be the last chapter for the USS Sailfish. The poor weather should help us infiltrate the port more easily. Hopefully, we can make it into this place undetected. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here and welcome back to more Silent Hunter 4 Wolves of the Pacific. As you can see, this boat's a rock in here. Um, we're in pretty rough weather at the moment. We're cruising on the surface at standard speed uh, to infiltrate, to infiltrate uh, Rabul. Uh, a lot of you have asked me to do a port raid and I figured, why the hell not? Right, men? Uh, we've actually, the role playing reason, we, we've received orders and we're moving in now. Um, it is 1649, so, and we should get there at night, hopefully. Uh, the weather is absolutely terrible, so that will also help with uh, us infiltrating the base. I expect it to be pretty heavily uh, protected. Uh, it is a Jap main Japanese anchorage, so we'll see how this goes. Um, I do not like port raids very much, but... Your wish is my command. I figure why the hell not. Let's try it. Let's make it a little spicy. Let's spice up this Let's Play and throw some Tabasco sauce on it. You know what I'm saying. Uh, that's stupid. <laughs> I'm an idiot. So anyway, we'll move in. And I have it set the kilometers, apparently. Um, I don't think I can change that in the game, can I? No. Oh. Oops. I know why it's set to that, because I was playing uh, a new mod uh, called Knights of the Sea Depths 2, and it's a German U-boat mod, so I set it to uh, kilometers. I guess that transferred over to here, which I am not a big fan of, but okay. Uh, well, it looks like we're uh, doing this in kilometers. Not that it should matter too much, even though it is... Um, it's breaking my immersion if I'm being completely honest with you. Should be using feet and yards and all that stupid jazz. But, and it looks like the weather's calming down. I'll, I'll go ahead and climb down here. It's not a very safe location for me. And the weather is significantly calmed down as uh, the sun begins to set. And there are some lighthouses over yonder. Wow, I guess we are pretty close to the the mainland here only 12 or 11 kilometers away so we need to be pretty careful um, I don't think aircraft are going to be flying in this kind of weather so I'm not too worried about them uh, you boys just need to keep your eyes peeled let's make sure we have a full complement yeah deck watch is pr looking pretty good uh, flip them around. Uh, we'll move all you boys to the damage control team for the inevitable uh, damage we take and uh, make sure torpedoes are loaded indeed they are we have a lot of aft torpedo tubes I might try to dispose of those while we while we are in this port words are hard and we got a radar contact 022 it looks like it's heading northeast my doggo has awakened he always seems to do that whenever uh, I start recording you know, I get home and my dogs are just laying there, and then I turn on the TV and that's when they decide they like to eat, so here they're munching. <laughs> Wonderful. Alright, so we're going to, let's see, we'll, we'll let this guy, let's keep some distance. We'll keep cruising on the surface here for just a tad bit. And, let's see, do we have contact yet? I don't think so, no. We do not. Visual contact, I should say. And it is nighttime. We've uh, rigged the lights for red. Still no eyes on the enemy. I'm assuming it's a warship patrolling the bay. See, there's uh, the lighthouses. Let's go ahead. This is in meters, so. Let's go ahead and uh, 
flood the tanks a little bit. And that's not. Yes, sir. Come on. I want to kind of go decks a wash here. Yes, sir. Seven. Yes, sir. New depth. Let's go. Yes, sir. All right. I think that should have worked. Once my decks are awash, I'll be pretty happy. Yeah, can't really tell right now. We'll find out. Apparently, seven meters below. Yeah, I think that's a little better. I think we're pretty low on the water. Reduce our dive time. Let's take a look. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. Good stuff. <laughs> All right, we'll infiltrate the harbor through this. You, this way. All right, so let's see here. We're picking him up on sonar, and it looks like he's moving away, so I don't think he's detected us. And we got another radar contact. Uh, I'm assuming it's another escort vessel. He looks like he's patrolling the actual mouth of the bay. But he is indeed moving close by, so... I think it's time to dive. Can we get an estimated range here? Or about there, right? They're not visible? Oh wow, it's nasty outside. Um... Yeah, I still don't see him, but I think we're gonna go ahead and dive. I think that's a good option for us. We'll man battle stations in a little bit. We'll probably man battle stations when we're closer to the harbor. We still have about an hour till we're uh, inside the bay. And wow, we went under really fast with that uh, with um, our decks of wash. Now let's slow down. Don't want to drain all of our electric power yet. I need to save that. And we're probably going to get out of our comfort zone in terms of depth. Also another thing we need to keep in mind is mines as well as don't like that. take a look. As I'm sure some of you have noticed, I have a different sound mod activated. Okay, I can't see you. It is... I don't think my periscope actually breached the surface. I can't see absolutely anything. Oh, there's a destroyer. Okay. So it did, it's just extremely dark outside. And we're also using our regular attack periscope, not our night periscope. So that's probably part of the reason. Let's check out our night periscope here, see if it's a little better. I can already tell this is going to be a little better. There we go. Alright, there's the, uh, searchlights. Wow, it's a really black night. I apologize for y'all at home watching this. I might try to do some post-processing or something and try to brighten this up a tad bit. We'll see how it looks in the video. Hmm. I don't see... I really can't make anything out. I think this periscope is also shorter than our attack periscope uh, by like a foot, maybe. So I think that's kind of part of the reason I run into so much trouble with it. Uh, that warship's at short range. Hopefully he can't hear me. I'm not getting pinged or anything. Is this it? Only two escorts? Uh, pretty light defenses if you ask me. But what do I know? Guess it makes it easier. 
Well, this is the one I'm more worried about because he has a shorter dif distance to travel. And a little less time to slip by. Uh, but I think this other one's coming in. We can hear him. I'm going to go ahead and go with a little deeper. I'm not going to ping to see how uh, how much depth we have, even though I don't think it's very much at all. He's right above us. And there he is. Sounds like a little buzzard. I don't think he's detected us. You know, honestly, they might just have trawlers guarding this port. You know, all the real escorts might be out defending, you know, major fleets. Because these guys... A, they sound really tiny. They sound like they're powered by AA batteries. Alright. We're apparently close to the bottom of the sea, so let's brace, go up to periscope depth. I think we'll have to cruise at periscope depth now, but I think we've broken past their uh, defensive line they have here. Man, I say that, and he comes right for us. Yikes. I hope. Yeah, I think we're okay. One pass ready to beam of us. Let's let's take a look at this guy. can actually see um hmm also we have the waves are a tad choppy I hear him still he's still out there there he is I don't even I don't even think that's really an escort I think that's just a gunboat can't really make it out at all. Hmm. Well. I guess we will wait and see. If it's just a gunboat, that's, that's even better. Right, we're closing in now. I figured I would just record this whole journey. Hopefully it's not too boring. We're <laughs> seeming to get in pretty quickly. Shit, here he comes. Well, it looks like... I don't think this thing has sonar, if I'm being honest. We'll try to get a better look on our way out. But I'm actually not too worried about him at all. Because TM Trigger Maru is pretty difficult. I feel like if these had anti-submarine uh, capabilities, uh, they would have found us. I'm not really trying too hard at this point. So, all right, let's go ahead and move in. So if we stop here, that will put us. So we need to get a little closer. Because our max range is. I guess that is. That's reaching it though. Yeah, we need to get a little closer than that. Probably here. We have four kilometers to go until we're in attack position. Hopefully we don't hit any mines or submarine nets. We're going to have to set our torpedo depth to like zero feet to be able to go over any torpedo nets. That may be in the area. And probably are in the area. The Japanese aren't stupid. Alright. I'm 
can go ahead and uh, raise our scope now, I guess. We are about 2,200 feet away. That doesn't translate very well, do I? Uh, I think this is all still in feet. Yeah. Yep, height and feet. Alright. Uh, oh my god. It's raining. I don't think I'm going to be able to see anything, folks. Now what I could do is just sit on the bottom, which might be a good idea, actually. I don't think I'm going to be able to see diddly squat. Lighthouse. Yeah, there's. I cannot see anything. So, you know what? That is what we're going to do. Let's see how much. How deep is it here? Five meters, okay. Let's just go ahead and uh, go down. We'll sit here. Until we uh, hit the bottom. Alright, well we'll chill out at around 19 meters. I think we're just hovering above the ocean floor, which is fine. And we'll just wait here until the, either A, the weather clears up, or daytime. I think I can make an attack during the daytime. It's just now I can't make out any targets. And I don't want to get too close to the actual port itself. That's a little risky. So uh, we'll stick around here, and I'll keep you guys updated whenever we have, a sit, have an opportunity to attack. Um, I don't think these escorts are going to be much of an issue. Uh, the only thing I'm really worried about is CO2 and... I guess battery power is well okay. We are at 90 out of 100, and we're not really using much of it. The only thing we're really burning battery power on is lights and our fans. So, okay. Anyway, I'll keep you guys updated. Alright, so we are back. And y'all are in for a little bit of a surprise. It is 9.20 in the morning. Been underwater for quite a while. And uh, the weather has changed quite a bit. You ready for this? I'm sure you can already tell, but uh, welcome to our bowl. <laughs> and here we are. The weather just cleared up all of a sudden, so let's go ahead and look at what we got here. We have a small fishing craft of some sort. Pan around, there's a big tanker. Looks like we have another ship. That one's at kind of a rough angle. I'm not sure about attacking that. We have another ship docked at Tender there, and there's a good looking ship as well. Another tug. And let's check all around us, make sure we got everybody. No capital ships of any sort at the moment. And I think that's about it. Yep, so thinking we're definitely going to hit this tanker. And I'm thinking that one is possible. The problem is that angle is a little rough. But I think that one might work. So let's see here. Let's lock onto this big guy. Let's go ahead and identify the ones we're contemplating shooting. Now this one's definitely a tanker. Uh, stack is in the rear. I think this is it here. Nippon Maru. Yep. Go ahead and lock that in. And now this guy. I could try magnetic torps. That is possible. I think this actually might be it here. A Biomaru? Um, actually, no, that is not it. The masks were all wrong. This might be it. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this. 
No, that's not it either. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Um, I think this is it, actually. Because it has this weird vent in the back. The masks are correct. And it has these little uh, T-looking masks on the top. So it is a Hog Island Type A freighter. Okay? And that one's at a rough angle. That one's behind the, uh, the dock. And this one, I think. Mmm, might have missed it. And the clicking fest begins. So I'm probably going to turn around. Hmm. I do not see it. Hmm. I'm sure someone has spotted it already. I'm actually not sure if this ship is in here. I'm sure I can't find it. It has guns. Maybe it's a maybe it's a warship. not going to be in with the capital ships. Yeah, auxiliary gunboat. That is definitely it. Okay, lock that in. Alright, so the three ships we're going to be hitting. I thought it was that one. It says unknown, but that's definitely it there. So this one, this one, and this guy. So I think I'm gonna shoot two forward torpedoes, probably at the Nippon Maru here. Swing around and then shoot the my stern torpedoes because I want to be sure I actually sink these guys. So Nippon Maru is first, and it looks like he's pretty much at a 90 degree angle here. Well, let's, let's find him. Uh, okay. Well, he is stationary, so it doesn't matter too much. Looks like he's more at of oh, 100 degrees. Starboard, yeah. Actually, I can't I can't really tell if I'm being honest, but I think he's more. Maybe he's more at like an 80, 70, 75. I can't really tell. So let's just lock that in. Yeah, I think that's more accurate than 100 degrees. I think he's going the right way. All right, so, and speed's obviously zero. Let's check, make sure. Range is abysmal. Don't really need to keep track. Let's check our torpedo settings. No offset angle. Torpedo depth, we want at as low as possible. And we want contact influence. Contact, not contact influence. And we'll shoot tube one and two. All right, so let's go ahead, go ahead and open tube number one. And open tube number two. Set that to contact. Alright. Tube one. Fire. Tube two. Fire. Let's go ahead and start moving and pretty much do a 180 here. And let's watch our torpedoes go into their majestic journey. see here they're looking good I would hope so I hope I can hit a stationary target I've been playing this game 
for what, nine years now? However long it's been released. Been out. Huh, I guess this game is 10, 11 years old. Where is time gone? Okay, so one torpedo is going much quicker than the other. I think I forgot to set the speed on one of them. Looks like I got the angle correct. Whoa, what's wrong with them? Oh, <laughs> looks like he's already had some damage. Uh, we're just going to finish him off. Makes it easy. I don't know what's wrong with him. Looks like he had some flooding with the storm. Well, let's see if we get a hit. Cross your fingers. We hit there we go. And let's wait for tube two. Torpedo number two. I think that probably put her under. Um, doesn't say she's going down just yet, but I think this one might do her in. Let's see. There we go. assess the damage here. Yeah, it's a pretty big hole. <laughs> I'm sure she'll go down before we finish our other attacks. We'll, we'll of course see. So we slowly make our uh, a turnaround. How's that ship? That ship looks pretty busted up to me. We might have to put a third one in. We're spotting land units. Hopefully they don't spot me, huh? All right, so we'll shoot at this other ship here. All right. Right our midships there. <sighs> Can't believe that thing's still afloat. But anyway, let's move on to this guy. It's range. Right there. Mark that. AOB is pretty bad. <laughs> we'll try to make it work. Shooting aft torpedo tubes and speed zero. Let's set the speed to low, might as well. They already know we're here, but we want contact and the torpedo depth, the run, shallow. Let's take a look. Make sure it's going through the target. Range is off, but. Alright. Open tube five and tube six. Alright, tube 5, fire. Tube 6, fire. Alright, and they're away. This guy. This guy, this guy, this guy. We're going to put one more into her. I'm not leaving until they're all dead. So, contact. Zero. Can't believe it's not... <laughs> beneath the waves, but um, let's see here. Yeah, it's going right through her. Open tube number seven, huh? All right, tube number seven. Fire. Alright, tube number seven away. Swing our scope around and hello. Uh, we need to rearrange 
manger. Let's see. Oh, it's not going through the actual thing. Through the actual dot, which I don't like. Maybe the dot's off. I think it actually might be. Anyway, let's go ahead and just shoot this and see what happens. Because why not? I think the, the map contact might be a little goofed up, so let's go ahead and shoot two bait. And we're away. And something went terribly wrong over there. But let's get the hell out of here now. And let's watch our torpedoes go boom. Let's see, this one's about to hit. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's splitter in half. Oh, awesome. Here goes the other one. Nice. Alright, so th there's no way this one's still going to survive. And this one just cracked. So, alright, there's two down. Let's check this guy. I don't see my... I don't see my torpedo in the water. It's the bug hits. This one is going. Here it is. Yep. Good thing I didn't adjust it to uh, hit the dot because it looks like it's going right for her. Okay. And they said she's going down now. That sound effect's kind of annoying. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch that one out. I wonder if. Okay, yeah, we got both of them. I think. So... Yeah, so I misidentified that one in the back. So we got both ships, and now we're gonna see if this one goes down with one torpedo. It's pretty small, so I would think it would. But there's always. You never know. <laughs> it looks like we're going to hit a little aft of uh, where I was aiming. And it is a warship. You can see the flag. And uh, let's see. Here we go. Lucky number three, please. There we go. I don't know if that one's going to do her in. No damage. I suppose we'll find out though. Let's see, is she going to list or anything like that? Interesting, we, uh, no. Well, regardless, we sank two pretty large ships. Is this one even listing? That's disappointing. <laughs> Maybe she is. We have some time to find out, but let's go ahead and lower the scope and get out of here. So two ships, not bad. Not bad. That Nippon Maru took quite a lot of punishment before she actually went down. Which is interesting. Let's check on our, our friend. Let's just take a look. Looks like she's lower in the water. I can't tell from here, though. Maybe a little bit. I think it's, uh, oh yeah, she's definitely a lot lower in the water, I think. Well, I'm debating sticking around to find out. But I think it's probably a better option just to leave the area. I could put another one into her, but we don't have very many torpedoes left, so I don't really want to do that either. I kind of just want to get out of here. That's the goal. So let's go ahead and do it. There's two warships. Looks like they're just patrolling. 
I don't think they have sonar or anything like that. I'm not very worried at all. But hey, that that is some pretty good uh, results. One and a half thousand. Wait, what? Two thousand four hundred and fifty-two tons in total from that raid. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Are they hunting for another submarine right there? Well, let's avoid that. Let's hike our course around that. Whatever they're doing there. Still getting pretty close, though. A little too close for comfort. I'm curious. Let's actually look at them. Yeah, they're just arm tugboats. I don't even think they have uh, dev charges. I'm going to go with uh, negative on that. So let's go ahead. <laughs> we can just cruise right past them, I think. Which is good. Yeah, we're just going to do that. Maybe they can detect us. They're harassing us. I don't think they really... They probably could see us since the, the water is pretty shallow. But I don't think they have any way of killing us. Except with guns. Yeah, see, we're free. That was easy. Alright, so that is my one and probably only port raid. <laughs> I'll do this playthrough. Maybe later we'll uh, attack Tokyo or something like that. But uh, I just... I'm not a big fan. That was that was a little too easy. But uh, we'll keep patrolling. Uh, we're gonna have to make our return trip somewhat soon to Brisbane, mostly because of our torpedoes. But I think we'll p patrol around here a little bit longer. Um, might go back down to Guadalcanal, the Guadalcanal area, and then just head onward to Brisbane. So that's the plan for the time being. Uh, let's go ahead and get past these guys. I think we're, yeah, we're scot-free. Scot-free, I tell you. So let's go ahead and secure from silent running. Let's make sure there's no bogeys around us. Because if there is, this could be pretty bad. Oh, we need to go to periscope depth, don't we? And there we go. 17 meters. make sure nothing is around do a quick sweep and yeah there's nothing let's go ahead and surface the boat And with that, I'll leave you folks. Radar contact. And we got a radar contact. I'm sure. Yeah, it's just the escorts. I'm not worried about that. So uh, anyway, I'll go ahead and leave you folks with this. That was a successful port raid on Rebel, as many of you were asking for. So there you go. <laughs> there you have it. Uh, thank you all for watching. This is Wolfpack signing off, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.